In this video we're going to do some cool stuff with the KK2 board. Uh, first of all we're going to uh, use a resin printer to make a nice case for this uh, KK2 board. And um, I'm going to show you a nice trick uh, if you are working uh, for a long time to get the correct set settings in this board and you want to step to this board, you don't want to put it manually and maybe some of you don't even have the programmer. So I'm going to show you how to use the laptop to transfer the settings from this board to this board. So guys hang on, this will be a nice video. So I always wanted to try a resin printer. This video sponsor is Gitech and they came out with a nice Alkite resin printer. Well the most of you already know that I print a lot with FDM. FDM printing uses a spool of plastic which melts in the nozzle. This kind of resin printers are way more uh, different. We call it SLA printing. And the uh, advantage about uh, a resin printer is you can print really detailed. So the Alcat uses an LCD to cure the resin. Uh, it has a 6.08 inch monographic HD LCD screen with a printing accuracy of 0.051 millimeters. So with an FDM, we usually go for 0.2 millimeters layer height. And it only takes 1.5 seconds per layer to cure the resin. So guys, as you, as you have seen in the, in the title, this model is just $100. So let's check out if it can print really nicely. Okay guys, for slicing the, the parts for our KK2 board, I'm going to use sheet 2 box. Um, sheet 2 box, I'm already using a version 1.6.5. And this is actually a quite nice slicing software. It had its issues before, but uh, ever since the last update, it's performing really, really nice. So let me slice the parts together with you. So let's add also the bottom of the case. Let's turn it. So I always uh, put the parts under an angle. Uh, I've learned it at Philips. And okay, this seems to be right. We can move it also always afterwards. So let's add the support structures and the support base. And we add them all. And we will do it as same as for the top shelf and let's move it a bit and actually here we go quite easy uh, it seems that we have enough support structures I will print uh, this case uh, on the Halot from Creality and on the Gitech so you can compare the quality afterwards I will uh, send a uh, a photo on Instagram so that you can compare the quality but let's try this first with the Alkite so this seems all very nice let me try this crazy angle there and if you want to turn it a little bit more just simply let's put it a little bit more steeper okay add the supports again yeah I think this will be better. And now slice it. Uh -huh. Here you got the bottom printing. And slicing there. Let's go for it. So we save the file on a USB stick and uh, we simply put it into the printer. So let me check what it's going to do. Okay, let's try it out. So once you slice it with sheet box, you go to the part. You will get a nice view what you are printing. And then we press play. Okay guys, I connected the USB bus to the laptop. Um, this is the Open Arrow Vito GUI. Uh, you can find this uh, template on RC groups. And uh, what we now are doing is simply load from the KK2 board. Bam, it goes really fast. 
So I downloaded well because the KK2 is start beeping. And let me check quickly the settings. Okay, here we go. So in two weeks, two weeks ago, I showed you a video how to set up the, the Boeing and the F-35. Um, so I will also use this as a backup for both airplanes. And as you can see, the Boeing got two extra motors. So I added this. What I can try, uh, just to have some little bit fun, let's gain this values all to 85. Because I told you in the beginning of the video, if you are if you are not having the programmer, then you can always use this programming template. So remember, guys, I've changed the numbers from 80 to 85. And now I'm going to download the settings back to the hard case version and we will check the settings. So we go back to the beginning of the screen. Make sure that you set the right file path to uh, connect it to the Avery Air Dude. Um, so let's try first to transfer the settings and we will take a closer look in a few minutes to these settings. So save it to the KK2 board. This takes a little bit longer. And let's see if we can read back the settings back in the board. Here we go. So while explaining this video, the Alkite is printing the, the case for the KK2 board. And I'm looking really forward how it comes out. Yes, here we go. Okay. So let me check the settings. Here we go. The volume is changed to 85. Nice. Now let me check how it's leveled. Okay, oh sorry, it's flat. Yes. See? Nice feature. Okay. Okay guys, listen up. Uh, for printing with resin, I'm using a water washable resin, uh, which can wash with a washing tank. Uh, and water washable, yeah, you don't normally use isopropanol, uh, but in this case, water washable is good for home uh, use. Uh, but guys, the print is finished. Look at it. So the next step is to cure it in UV light. Uh, this is already washed. Uh, but guys, uh, when it's wet or it just came out of the printer, you always use gloves. But let's cure it. <laughs> and here you got a nice housing for the KK2 board. So guys, um, let's finish this video. My review. Um, what do I think about this printer? Um, I think this is a good starting printer. If you have uh, a lower budget and you don't know if a um, resin printer fits you, I think the Alkite is a really nice printer to start with resin prints. Um, yeah, like I said, resin printer is not comparable with FDM printing. Uh, again, we have here the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, just look at it. This is really difficult to do with, with an FDM printer. Uh, of course, we cannot compare this uh, really nice budget uh, resin printer to the Formlabs, but um, I'm quite amazed by the quality what we are reaching here. So yeah, for $100, I think it's a nice price. All the links are in the descriptions. Also the discount codes are also in the description. Uh, the parts, the STLs for this KK2 board uh, holder, uh, it's also in the in the links in the description. So guys, please give me a thumbs up uh, And it really helps if you are subscribing to our channel uh, it, would be it would be really nice if we can reach that 100,000 subscribers uh, Maybe before the end of the year. That would be fun Okay, guys. Thank you all for watching 
and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Okay guys, I totally forgot. I got two of these printers and I'm going to give away them both. So what you have to do, subscribe, like this video, so hit that like button, smash that like button, leave a nice comment in the comment section, make sure you also follow us on Instagram and on TikTok and really leave a nice comment because the guys from Geetech will judge the comments and the most cool comment Two of those two comments and also on Instagram will be chosen by Gitex itself and they will they were receiving a nice uh, shipment with this goodies. Um, you know what to do guys. Bye bye.